All right, so it's raining today, and my friend Zach wanted to get some engine advice. His wife's got this cool Jimmy. What year is this Jimmy, Zach? 71. 71 Jimmy. Factory Air. Really nice truck. And uh, he had a, a engine come apart on him. It got some dents in the oil pan here, so he got another engine. He asked me to come by and look at it with him. And uh, But he's a master fabricator welder, and he's got all kind of cool bikes in his shop. And uh, like this old shovel head right here. That's a beautiful motorcycle. And an old iron head. What's this? A uh, 60, 68, 68 yeah, iron on. head. Kick only. That makes it a, so it's a XLCH. C XLCH. Mm -hmm. With a highly modified fence post frame. Oh, yeah. <laughs> highly modified. And that killer front end on it. But uh, he does uh, some cool, cool work, custom sissy bars and stuff. <clears throat> Got all kind of neat metal working tools and mm -hmm. milling machine and lathe back there. And Old machine. I got my power hacksaw over there. Oh, yeah. I like that. I don't even know how old that thing is. Use it to cut everything steel. Got the automatic cut off. Oh, that's too cool. Oh, yeah. I think that's the oldest thing I've got in here. Maybe it's a lathe. Sawmaster. Too cool. But we got this old trunk too. This is one that's got the oil in the frame. Oh yeah. It's wrong side too. No, it's right side. <laughs> right side. does too. Yeah, yeah. Right they, the, well, I think it was '75 is when they changed, maybe '75 right. or '6. I know there was some weird years because they were. I guess that's what they were trying to do—is run with the, the bridge flats. Right. But he's. Uh, this one's probably not going to get raised. <laughs> I split these rocker yeah, boxes. Yeah, split the rocker boxes That's on the That's the first thing. set I've done. And I matched the matched the curve, which was a pain in the ass. But it's done. Yeah, and they'll polish up and look the like chrome. The initial polishing is sanding is done. But yeah. I got some wild ideas on the with this. <clears throat> But yeah, this this Jimmy here, man, this thing is too cool. It's got a bunch of new stuff inside. Sort of a a restoration. Yeah, what kind of seats are these? I'm not sure. Maybe LMC. They're not they're not factory, that's for sure. They look similar, but They had replaced some of the new stuff, or some of the stuff with new stuff. Right. Trying to align the interior floor. I was surprised that it had a seat. You never find one with a seat in the back. Right. Well, this thing is in jam up shape, too. Came out of Colorado. Colorado? Yep. I've got it. I've got actually got an '88 Jimmy that come out of Utah. Oh yeah, I flew out there, did a turn and burn, 
And drove it back? No, no. I flew out there, test rode it, and then had to be on a flight like an hour later. Flew back and had them ship it here. Oh, okay. It was back when, when shipping was not as bad as it is right now. Right. I think it was like 800 bucks to ship it from Colorado or something. Had, I would have had way more fuel. Fuel, oh, no and, doubt. Uh, probably a hotel stops than that. Oh, yeah. I'm guessing. So, yeah. <clears throat> what you got going on here? This one is a CB350 Honda that I'm making super narrow. That carburetor that I showed you, which we can, I can get it back out. And I got a belt driven supercharger that I'm going to put on it. Oh, wow. And probably either modify this side or that side to run it on uh, fully on the outside of it. But I wanted the thing, I really wanted a single cylinder. I was looking forever to find a good single cylinder Honda because I wanted it narrow. As right, it right. End, which I can probably trim this cover down and make it, because that's the front end I'm going to use on it. Right. Because you can barely squeeze the tire on that front end. But bunch of crazy ideas are gonna get thrown to that. I got a thumb throttle off a three-wheeler that I'm gonna run on it. And uh, a mag, I got a, a magneto off an outboard motor with the same uh, rotation and everything that I'm gonna to try to modify and make work on this. Oh, man. So, because uh, some of the two-cylinder outboards had the same, I forget if it's 180 or 230 or whatever degree. Right. A rotation, so. Yeah, and show us. Everybody said that it would not work, so that's what I like when they say that. Oh yeah, that's that's a challenge there. It gives me the uh, drive to do it. Here's the car, the um, magneto. Obviously, it'll have to be modified, different gear. But there's that, and then here's that carburetor I was showing you earlier. Pusa, and then uh, Lake Injectors made some back in the day too. But like I was saying, it's it's a it's a it doesn't have a, a fuel bowl, and it doesn't necessarily have any jets. You have you can adjust your um, your idle there or up here with the cable comes in and just pulls the slide up, which it does have a needle and different needles you can change. But gas comes in, and basically, it's a controlled fuel leak from there. That's what they've always said. But they'll run in any direction you want it to. So it only allows what gas it needs to run the motor, so that's why there's no jets. It does come in different sizes of millimeters. But very interesting. It's still in the original box with the sticker and all the tools and everything. That's too cool. I got that from a buddy of mine. And he told me I had to have it on something because he's never seen one on a bike because everybody hated them. But I'm well. The the generally when people hate stuff, it's because they don't understand how it works. Yeah, they have no experience in it, which I'm not saying I do, but I'll figure it out. Well, so. that's the thing. If you learn how it works mm -hmm. and can figure it out, then you can make it work like it was designed. Right. And I think that it'll just be a wild idea. I took the I took the starter off of that bike, and I'm thinking that I can put that, I can play a supercharger too. I'm thinking I can tuck that in there and run it off the chain that the starter was on after I changed a few things, because it's like a coaster, like a bicycle coaster chain, I believe. Right. So it needs to be not that. It needs to stay steady going, I'm guessing. It's gonna be a learning experience. But I have all these, I build all these bikes for everybody else, and they tell me what they want, and it absolutely has to be this, and I, I kind of want to build something that I have a bunch of stupid ideas I want to throw at it. But it's like a... Oh, that is too cool. Let me see down in there. The, pretty cool. 
little supercharger. Where'd you uh, get that from? This it looks one, new. Yeah, it's brand new. Um, it's like a Chinese deal. A lot of people run them on Volkswagen bugs. And um, you can get them on eBay. And there are several other companies that you can get them from. They're actually not a bad price. I mean, they're like a couple hundred bucks. And um, can be mounted however you want, basically. <clears throat> And obviously you got an inlet and an outlet just like a regular supercharger so probably have to modify it to run that carburetor on it and figure out some some tubing and i'm guessing run oil lines to it and, and go from there yeah but it, this one is a they make a 300 and a 500 and this is the smaller one because that's a, a small motor right well i mean that size wise is pretty close to the same size as the engine right yeah it's pretty good size so Gonna have to take some really good calculations of figuring out PSI. Right. Because technically, um, you know, eight or 10 PSI I think is a lot, but I've seen guys run those up to 20 and 25. Yeah. And those motors, the CB350s, love the high RPM and they're lower compression because, I mean, they're like a race bike from the factory. And so I think it's gonna love some boost. Like, actually, may bump the compression down a little bit and just you know, 18 or 20 PSI and see how good the head gaskets are made from the factory. That's going to be interesting. I'd like to see that done up. That's going to be cool. Yeah, it's going to be a interesting. I was going to do it, I was trying to build it a couple of years ago for like a biker build off and I didn't get accepted, which, you know, not a big deal. So I'm just going to build it anyways, but then started on this one. So I'm hoping to get this thing knocked out by September-ish, and then I'm gonna jump on that and throw all those crazy ideas at it. Well, that sounds cool, man. Yeah. All right, guys, we'll get back at you. Maybe the weather will clear and we can get back on the Cheyenne.